The most underrated contenders in girls high school basketball this season is Minneapolis South. But at 13 and 3 and 7 and 0 in conference play, the Tigers aren't likely to stay under the radar much longer. As David McCoy tells us, if you remember the last time South was this good, then this story is going to sound pretty familiar. There you go. Morgan is a junior, not only South's leading scorer, but also one of the tops in the state at 25 points per game. Jade is South's second leading scorer as just an eighth grader. But their first names are not the first thing that tend to catch people's eye. It's their last name, Hill, as in these are Taylor Hill's little sisters. Everybody, I don't know, it's just like all bunch of talk, like, oh, they're Taylor's little sisters, so they're really good too. So it's like, they kind of like play up to the expectations of like that. In a way, the comparisons were inevitable. Taylor graduated in 2009 as the all-time leading scorer in state history. She was a four-year starter at Ohio State and taken fourth overall in the WNBA draft by the Washington Mystics. It's good. I mean, it gives us like a role model like to look up to, to see how the game is played and what to do, what not to do. It's a lot to live up to, but together, Morgan and Jade are working to take South back to state, where it hasn't been since Taylor led them to the state title in 2009. It's really great. Like, if I, I know if I can't score, then she's going to score. And in the process, chase the same big dreams as their big sister. Yeah, I, would, I definitely want to go to college and play. I don't know about the WNBA. Me, college and WNBA. And the legacy doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon. And they actually have a, I believe she's a, fifth grade daughter also that'll be coming up angel in a few years so there's a lot of uh, basketball history here and a lot more to be made in the future david mccoy wcco for sports